Welcome to Laurel Smith of Chicago, Illinois, nonprofit home video and artworks creations. In this particular video, we will be looking at the original black African lion sphinx of the entire African continent as his face image appears in back of the El Sacra Mosque amongst Temple Mount building structures, uh, ruins. This African sphinx uh, of the Lion of Judah face image redefines the false man-based world religions. As we look at the actual aliens in back of the Al Sacra Mosque generated by the building structures, this would be the cube, octagonal, and rectangular dome building structures. They are generating a land surface alien library of the Miru, the Biru, the aliens in which landed upon Mount Sinai in Ezekiel's Old Testament, Will in the World Like UFOs. So these aliens are black skinned, some are gray. They have three fingers and one thumb on each hand. They stand about four feet tall and they have an uh, octagon of building structures like the holy building in Jerusalem that has the golden dome and eight walls. This octagon of building structure uh, appears to be the eyes of the Temple Mount aliens. Now this is as well as up on the Nibiru planet filter, the red U2 filter of Nibiru. You take that red image and filter it, that means balance the contrast and light, you're going to see thousands upon thousands of Temple Mount structures, cube, dome, and octagonal and rectangular building structures. This is how when we reconnect the African lion thinks of Genesis 49 chapter 8 verse in which the scriptural reference refers to him as being taken up above the atmospheric regions of planet Earth and up into the outer regions of black space by Ezekiel's will in the world like your old Nibiru aliens. Now this is when we make the great archaeological and theological and astronomical discoveries we have uh, jumped into the uh, future because we now see that the 2011 UFO that uh, appeared over the Dome of the Rock is connected to the original black African and uh, gray extraterrestrial gardens of our entire solar system in which we now see upon Nibiru's May month of May year 2016 land surface this is when the very appeared, appeared above the sky over Australia. It was uh, it came closer to the earth than the moon would appear on the summer's night. And so we see this huge African sphinx, the half the size of the African continent, uh, in the uh, right side of the brown Nibiru uh, planet land surface, amongst thousands and thousands of cube, dome, and rectangular temple mount structures. So when we rediscover that there's no white European false Lord God image on the Biru connected to Africa, Ethiopia, the Giza pyramids, right? And the lion thinks in front of the pyramids. This redefines Judaism because it was never about the white European faced Israelites in which stole the six point star in Lalibala cross shaped building structure ceiling post area of the Silla King Solomon. This is where we reconnect the Q structure of New Jerusalem as we see it in the ceiling post area of the stone cross shaped building structure in Ethiopia in a place called Alibaba. So this Cuba New Jerusalem is a black African thing. It's not a European white Israeli uh, thing or Israelite thing. It's not a Hebrew or none of that false Israelite or Hebrew or none of that. Okay. These are all European terminology in which was placed within the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible false man based world religion and which is now brainwashing millions of Afro-Americans in their neighborhood churches. As we rediscover that there's no uh, European connection to the, black, to the black aliens of Nibiru or the aliens of the Temple Mount. So why do we see a European face image of Jesus that has a beard and a penis underneath his white robe? We re remember he's being uplifted in Afro-American churches as the Lord God. That's the title. So that, remember if God is not a man they're talking about this extraterrestrial biological uh, life form. They had arms and legs, three fingers and one thumb on each hand, big black oval shaped eyes. Uh, he stood about four feet tall. He had smooth skin between his legs where a woman's vagina would be. So this would automatically place, remove him out of the category of the false man based world religions. But if we look at Jesus, the bearded European image in your Christian Bibles, or in the Jehovah Bible, we see a bearded European image of Jehovah. Two. European images and they both have penises underneath their white robes. This is where we must uh, get
give a reality check to the Afro-American uh, that is now still preaching this false man-based Lord God image because these aliens that land upon Mount Sinai they are the ones in which we now see the Temple Mount structures generating like in back of the al Sacra Mosque okay we see this uh, alien Adam uh, alien and uh, which has African Adam a black man's face okay with planets surrounding him is appearing just below the nose area of the Temple Mount alien okay now this is alien 5 so alien 5 appears to be generated from the same cube dome and rectangular building structure in the back of the Al Sacra Mosque back here on earth in which we see the aliens being generated on Nibiru's land surface so there's two images in which I must point out about Nibiru you have the red planet image of Nibiru okay on YouTube all you need to do is take that red planet, put it on your computer filtering prog uh, 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 program, and then uh, balance the color and brightness. So then you would have eliminated the red color. The moment you do this, anybody can do this. Any human being that has a cell phone and works with pictures. So what you're going to see is one of the greatest archaeological theological and astronomical discoveries of all time you're going to finally see the red planet that everybody is afraid of going to smash into the earth is a spaceship like planet connected to Africa that's right not Europe not English Jesus or the English Bible false man based world religions that's the big game changer when Afro Americans uh, realize this that there's a spaceship like planet and they refer to it as the red YouTube uh, Nibiru image and upon that land surface, we see African lion sphinx uh, that root upon the ancient African continent from north to south. This is why we say ancient Judaism was all about the black African continent and the biblical lion sphinx of Genesis 49, chapter 8, verse of uh, the lion sphinx of Judah. So now when we look at why he was so important and why is this African Adam face being connected to Temple Mount aliens on the Nibiru, now we see that the African lion thinks was spoken of in Genesis 49 chapter 8 verse as being taken up above the atmospheric regions of planet earth and up into the black outer regions of space now we see this in the phrase thou art going up in Genesis 49 chapter 8 verse in the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible so now it says all thy father children shall bow down unto thee and that the scepter shall not depart from between thy feet until shadow come so now when we talk about somebody gathering a lot of people up in Africa, in Egypt, and then leading them off into the desert, the whole story in which was uh, misdirected in the English false man-based Bible-ized, uh, religions Bible-ized, was that we see Africans that, this, that was descended from African Adam. You say, okay, now what? Now they're leaving Egypt. This is during the Exodus. So now what's going on? Well, they go into the desert. So now what's going on? Now UFOs hoovering above their head. That's the bottom line. You say, oh, a fire by day and a pillar of uh, cloud by, uh, by day and a, a pillar of fire by night. Right. So you say, well, who was walking out of Africa? That's where Egypt is located. That's where Mount Sinai is located in the Egyptian land of Canaan. That's where Jerusalem, Judea, Palestine, and Israel. They're all located in the black African Egyptian land of Canaan. So when we look at this, uh, area view Mount Sinai we see uh, uh, the mountains themselves but using satellite imagery can be seen generating a Sinai alien one face okay uh, this is the three fingers and one thumb big black oval shaped eye aliens that stand about four feet tall has three uh, has moved skin between his legs where a woman vagina be this is why the Bible said the extraterrestrial that created African Adam is not a man so you are in theological error uh, when you are urge your churchgoers to pray to a white false man-based world religion's image of Jesus. Jesus has a beard and a penis. Every man has a penis. So there should be no man worshiping and, and worship there should be no worshiping of the false European uh, man-based world religions images of the Lord God because God is not a man. So why are you doing uh, telling your innocent churchgoers let's worship Jesus? Why, why? Because you think Jesus is going to bring some salvation? This is the Europeans that conquered Africa. They gave you that white man Jesus. And when they conquered Africa, they lied about the African continent's sphinx 
Lion of Judah. Remember, in the book of Esther, first chapter, third verse, it says, let us go up to Jerusalem, which is located in the land of Judah. You follow me now? So you say, well, what's that all about? Well, we're talking about the African continent, lion things that root over uh, from North Africa to South Africa. So if we look at the African pyramids on the back of the dollar bill, but we don't see the black African lion sphinx of Judaism on the dollar bill, then that's theological racism. And it uncovers the origin of the transatlantic slave trade. Because just two years later, and 400 years ago, we go back to 1609. We see black people being shipped from the African continent. Okay, this is a wake-up call because why? We're talking about the Egyptian land of Canaan in which the African lion thinks that ruled over the entire African continent not just part of Africa not just middle Africa but north and south so when black people try to say they are Israelites or this or that tell them to shut up They're, they are descended from African Adam and the first African on the African continent was the, uh, the children of African Adam so any tribe or group of people from the day African Adam was created until uh, he went up into the, uh, the outer space and the cube structure of New Jerusalem, which is, is why we are referring back to Judaism and the African lion things that was denied in the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible, false man based world religions. Now you remember that this African Adam is appearing in the back of the El Sacra Mosque. So the Bible was all about the creation of aliens of Nibiru. Or in heaven coming to earth in spaceships and transporting uh, chosen people from Ethiopia remember you have uh, Islamic Aramaic Dead Sea Scrolls speaking Ethiopians and then you have the uh, 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 Kamran cave uh, remember if you draw a map a Middle East world map you see the African continent now you see the V-shaped piece of land in Northeast Africa there's a thin strip of water called the Euphrates River separating West Africa from East Africa but if you get in a helicopter and if that Euphrates River dried up, you're looking down about 20, 125 feet deep, you're looking at bedrock. That means the Middle East that the news media referred to as where Mount Sinai is in the middle of the V-shaped piece of land, well, just a little bit below the center of the V-shaped piece of land. Now, if you write a V in the African continent, northeast area, right, then you see at the top of the V, that's what Jerusalem and Judea, Palestine, and Israel is. You say, oh, so this is all in Northeast Africa. That's right. That's what, that's what I've been trying to tell you. So when the African lion thinks, uh, no, oh, so at the top of the V-shaped piece of land, that's referred to as the Middle East. Okay. And Jerusalem, Palestine, uh, Gaf, I mean Gaza, okay, Ekron, Eskalon, all this is in the Egyptian land of Canaan. In other words, we, always, we are already talking about Northeast Africa. So they mess with your mind in high school and colleges and theology classes. If you draw a map and see the African continent and a thin strip of water uh, separating West Africa from East Africa, that is only 125 feet deep. So don't use that lame excuse. We see UFOs landing in Northeast Africa. And that's where Mount Sinai is. In, just below the V that you draw in the uh, right-hand corner of the Northeast African continent. So then, if UFOs land in Northeast Africa, uh, let the UFOs land at the top of the V, right? Okay? In Northeast Africa. So now they landed in Jerusalem and Judea. You said, oh, snap. Right, you brought us full circle. That's right. Everything was how about Africa, not Europe, not white Jesus, not none of that false man-based world religions. Tell that to you, Afro-American sisters and brothers. Maybe you'll wake them up in their neighborhood churches. So when we see these UFOs that, land, that appeared over the Dome of the Rock in 2011, right, carrying the burial aliens, they the same aliens that transported Prophet Jesus, the, the man Jesus, remember. The, the uh, false man-based world religions is the ones that made the man Prophet Jesus into the Lord. They use those titles. And there's no Lord God of a man because a man has a penis. God is not a man that has a penis. So never worship a man in your Bible, no matter what you call him, that has a penis between his robe, uh, uh, underneath his white robe. Because this is the false man based world religions. So, God, the alien that has three fingers and one thumb, big black, oval shaped eyes, and Ezekiel's willing to will like your foes, they created African Adam, they do not have a penis. They have smooth skin between their legs, where a woman's vagina would be. This is the difference between the false man based world religions that's brainwashing Afro Americans in the neighborhood church, 
or getting them to worship the European image of Jesus that has a penis. The European image of Jehovah. Now that's the old man Jehovah with a beard. Raise his robe up, he has a penis. Remember, if God is not a man, stop worshiping the Lord God Jesus, the European false uh, man-based world religion images of uh, these false gods. Remember, Africa was conquered by Europe. And if you worship in a European image of God, that's God is not a man, so just stop it, okay? So when you look at Europe, writing the English Bible to the 1611 King of England, uh, when he appointed 72 Greek and Hebrew scholars to fly to the Conram Cave in the Middle East and study the Islamic Aramaic Dead Sea Scrolls, they was actually studying the ancient Africans that was taken up in, in the cube structure of New Jerusalem from uh, the Egyptian land of Canaan, right? Where Jerusalem and Judea is located. So when we talk about this theological racism, which is brainwashing Afro-Americans and preventing them from seeing the Silla King Solomon. That's a black six-point star in the cross-shaped building structure in Ethiopia. There's an actual stone cross-shaped building structure in, in Africa. You got to go to a place called Alibala and walk inside of it and look up at the ceiling. You're going to see a six-point star in stone in the ceiling. So this is six-point. Every six-point star has a cube. So Af Afro-Americans are talking about the Q structure of New Jerusalem returning to Earth. They are so misdirected uh, because we're talking about a black Q structure orbiting around our sun. Say, okay, how come the cube is coming from the sun? Because it's in the center of a cross. Remember? And the, and within, and the six point star is in the center of a cross. So if you put the wall clock with 12 hours, that's like a zodiac of 12 uh, zodiacs, right? The zodiac circle. You put a cross in your wall clock, the sun is in the center of the clock. Okay, so if, if you put the cross uh, in a zodiac circle, you got 12 uh, signs, Pisces, Leo, Virgo, and just like the 12 hours in the wall clock, the sun is in the center of the zodiac circle. So if you put the African cross shaped being structure in Lalibala, what's in the center of a cross, you'll see that the cube of King Solomon, six point star, since every cube has, every six point star has a cube, it's coming from the sun. Case closed. So we solved where the cube structure in New Jerusalem comes from, from out of space. Now remember, in the book of Joshua, uh, <clears throat> the sun appeared to stand still in the midst of heaven and did not go down for about the space of, of a whole day. Today, with modern telescopes and uh, uh, satellite imagery, we see the, sh the sun, uh, 1 John 1 1, 15 billion year old sun throne that exists in the black outer region of space before it created the 5 billion year world, which is the biblical light that existed bef in the black outer region of space before it created the 5 billion year world. This is the holy hydrogen light of creation that returns to the cube structure of King Solomon. It's a black structure, not a European structure, not a Jesus European English structure. Get that crap out your mind. So, this is a black King Solomon and Lion Sphinx of Judah orbiting uh, crystal city structure going in and out of our sun. And you know, just like uh, sunlight strikes a diamond ring, you see seven rainbow uh, colors. When, when sunlight strikes a magnetic field, such as that of Earth, you see seven rainbow circles. Like a rainbow after rain. Okay, that's the difference between light in magnetic fields and light in crystal. So the crystal structure, okay, of New Jerusalem, it has a magnetic field, but it also how, well, uh, houses the holy hydrogen light of creation that ancient Egypt's winged sun that's written upon all the black African Egyptian temple walls, the sun with wings. This was the African lion sphinx in front of the Giza pyramids in Egypt. He's facing east toward the sun throne of God that returns in the cube crystal city structure of New Jerusalem. So now, if we go back to this holy hydrogen light creation element of the human soul, or Ka and Ba, the soul theology of the black African lion sphinx of ancient Judaism. We see that it's the biblical light that we see in microbiology 101 with the electron microscope going around all the chemical circular area of the human cell as seen in microbiology 101 with the electron microscope. It's a real rotating circle hydrogen light plasma. The same hydrogen light plasma that creates fruits, vegetables, apples, and oranges as the solar wind in astronomy as it travels 93 million miles away across the black outer regions of space. So this is why when we look at the biblical light that created the world, we're talking about the holy hydrogen light creation of the sun. So your soul light is this, these rotating circles of hydrogen light. And since they're going around all your cells, your entire body is made of cells. The cell, if you take a, a, some saliva and, and, and put, look at it in the microscope, you take some flesh or blood from your body. You're going to see chemical circular cells. And all the cells have black dot in the center as the cell nucleus. 
When you try to identify 1 John 1 1, biblical holy hydrogenated creation that existed in the black outer regions of space before it created the five billion year world, uh, as the biblical light that created that light of every man that comes into the world. You try to identify the light of God in your body, you're going to see a rotating circle hydrogen light plasma. Look like a dime uh, of hydrogen light plasma rotating around and around the shape size of your uh, chemical cell. So this is why if we went back in time and found Jesus preaching in the streets, I don't care who he is. He was a man that had a penis, all right? So he's not above the holy hydrogen light creation that we see growing around all the chemical circular area of the human cell. This is why the false man-based world religions illegally uplift the man-based image of God, which is incorrect, theologically incorrect, in the Afro-American churches. In fact, if we went back in time and found Jesus preaching in the street and took a cell sample from him, we're going to see Malachi 4-2, Black African Lion Finks in Egypt, Wing Sundays. And we're going to see this rotating circle of hydrogen light coming from the sun, which is 1 John 1, 1, 15 billion year old sun zone that existed in the black outer regions of space before it created the 5 billion year old world. So this is Psalms 84, 11 sun throne, okay? Okay, so we see this hydrogen like glowing around the chemical cells in Jesus' body or any prophet body. That means your soul light is the holy hydrogen light of creation and it's coming from the sun, not from a white man. So you do the same thing with any other prophets. Take a cell sample from them with an electron microscope, you're going to see chemical circular cells and a black dots in the center of the cell nucleus. So don't try to isolate one prophet or man, such as Jesus. You have many black prophets, because we're talking about an African continent lion sphinx being taken up above the atmospheric regions of planet Earth in spaceships. This was Ezekiel's will in the world like UFOs. So don't get it twisted. There's no white image of Jesus, so stop it. Afro-American ministers and preachers urging black people to worship a God that has a penis underneath his white robe, which is incorrect because God is not a man and every man has a penis. So when you look at the aliens, they do not have a penis. So you can worship them if you want to, but they don't want your worship because they're going at the speed of light in their spaceship uh, out of our solar system and back in. They worried about protecting the earth from uh, uh, meteorites and stuff crashing into it. So the aliens have other things on their mind then to look at a human on their knees in the church stupidly praying to them. So this is why you don't pray to the false man-based Lord God image. Now if anything, you pray to the holy hydrogen light of creation because it's creating fruits, vegetables, apples, and oranges. Right? Uh, after traveling 93 million miles away across the black outer regions of space. So this is the biblical light that created the world. Now we see it in photosynthesis. It's creating fruits, vegetables, apples, and oranges when hydrogen light uh, enters the earth's soil through the magnetic field. Okay? Lines surrounding the earth. So when we come to a reality check, we see a black Ethiopian six-point star in the ceiling of a stone crochet building structure in Lali Bala. Original Q Crystal City structure of New Jerusalem. And where is it? It's in outer space. A cube connected to black people, not a white man called Jesus. Get that crap out your mind. Afro-American ministers should be arrested up there brainwashing innocent black people in their neighborhood churches. Alright? So when you see that there's real spaceships connected to Africa and that there's an orbiting cube going in and out of our sun in which the mistranslated King James Bible referred to as the cube structure of New Jerusalem. Now, what's, what, why is this African thing so important that the white man that conquered Africa and blew the nose off the Sphinx uh, and put the African pyramids on the back of the dollar bill in America, but not the lion Sphinx black face of Judaism? This is pure theological racism, and this needs to be addressed by Afro-American ministers. When you see an African pyramid of Egypt, lion Sphinx of Judah on the back of the dollar bill, but not the African lion Sphinx of Ethiopia and Lali Bala, stone car shaped building structure, there's a problem in America. And it's theological white European racism. That's the racism in which uh, ripped Africa of all of its treasures. And so when we go back to the African continent, Lion thinks of Judah being taken above the atmospheric regions of planet Earth as referred to in the book of Genesis 49 chapter and 8 verse. And the phrase, thou art going up. Like uh, uh, Prophet Elijah was called up above the atmosphere. Uh, Prophet Muhammad was called up above the atmosphere. Don't try to get it twisted, okay? Prophet Muhammad was a bearded man, all right, that had a penis underneath his white robe. And he was a prophet, okay? 
and he was telling humans, trying to bring them back to uh, the extraterrestrial that created African Adam. Now remember, in the Quran it says, uh, Allah appeared on earth in the body form of Michael. Now Michael is an extraterrestrial, you get it now? So if we come back to the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible in the last day, it says, I saw a great angel standing in the sun. Who is that? Who is that? Angel in the Bible, standing in the sun. Huh? Wake up, that's the aliens in the sun. And the cube of New Jerusalem is coming out of the sun. A King Solomon, the cube and the six point star. So when you wake up and realize that the sun appeared to stand still in the book of Joshua in the black outer regions of space. So another word for heaven, okay, is outer space. So aliens that fell from heaven is alien whose spaceship crashed on earth after leave, uh, entering the earth atmosphere from the black outer regions of space. So, black people wake up. Spaceships are all around uh, Jerusalem, Syria, as the white European military force of NATO is shooting up at the black aliens that created African Adam, UFOs. So turn your news media on uh, and you're going to see, okay, you go to Europe, you won't see white people shooting up in the skies in Europe. 